Well, hey there. So I have done something that I am very proud of in my everlasting quest to give my Cobra a different look from every other Mustang on the roadway than the typical black car with the black wheels. Not to say that's a bad look. It's just, it's so overdone. I want to give this car a look that will not be matched. I don't want the same thing as everyone else. And I want a car that is completely different from every other, everyone else's car. I want to be, I want to stand out from the bunch and I want to be unique because that's who I am and that's what I'm all about. And these cars are an extension of my personality. So I would love to give this car a look that is different from the rest. And the first things I have done to do that are put these GT500 inspired, inspired fenders, fiberglass fenders on the car to have, you know, these vents and stuff, but you know, that was nice. What really set this apart was the GT, the 2020 GT500 style hood. I think that's what makes this look really nice, but that wasn't enough. So I ended up getting a few more parts uh, that make it look a little bit more different. So let me show you those. So I was browsing all over the place, all the different companies and websites I knew to sell kind of special pieces and whatnot. And I'm trying to think, what can I do to make it stand out even more? Like now, great, I have cheap fiberglass parts that anyone can buy. What can I do to make it different? And I'm like, well, the GT500 hood is cool, but I really love features on the GT350. In fact, I would love a GT350 if I could. So I'm like, how can I incorporate GT350 styling into my Cobra that already now has GT500 styling? Well, I went on eBay and I found these. So these right here, well, there's two, but this right here is a scoop. That's like the GT350 scoops. And it's got this outer panel here. And these are supposed to bolt on to a uh, 18 and up Mustang to give you that look. It's not an actual piece from a GT350 but it's still pretty cool. And here's like the vent insert. So you can see where, you know, this has some cool styling, but I'm like, okay, well, that's great. But how can I just take that a step further? Well, eBay comes in play again, and this time for a huge score. I was actually really hesitant about these at first, but these are some really, really nice surprisingly nice fender flares off ebay um, from a seller here in the u.s that sold that sells four of these very nice plastic nice thick plastic mind you uh fender flares for twenty dollars or it's like 26 but still $26 for four fender flares? Are you kidding me? So, I got the fender flares and I have these GT350 scoops. Now, how in the hell am I gonna make that work on my car? Let me show you. All right, so this looks really cruel and that's because I'm just mocking everything up because the flares, obviously, they're universal. They're not made to work on this car. These are designed to go on a 18 and up Mustang. Also not designed to work on this car, but no one makes these parts for this generation Mustang. At least not that I could find or for a price I'm willing to pay. Uh, so we will have to do some modification to make this 
and this be a custom piece to my unique Mustang. And what I have done here is mocked up how I feel that I'm going to permanently set these. Now I'm not 100% sure on the placement, but I'm mostly sure. So as you can see, what I did was, is I rotated the uh, flare to kind of end here at the bumper. That way that's a separate piece. I don't want that running into the bumper. And it overlaps the scoop piece here under the tape. And then it'll come down here and then this little, let me peel this back, little side piece here. I'm gonna have it end right on that. So it's a nice flush fitment. And that's gonna go over that. I will have to trim this piece here, obviously, because this is way too wide. And uh, clearance that in, um, in line with the uh, flare. And that should be good there. The only concern I have is what I'm going to do down here. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is just trimming this off down here. See, I'm not really sure because this is leaving a gap under here. So I'm not really sure what I want to do down there, but I will figure something out. And it's with these pieces that I am going to give this car a look that no other car will have. And that's the goal. I want something unique. I want something different. I love doing things different. I love making and creating things that no one else has. Um, and this is kind of going to get me to that point. And of course, since I have four fender flares, I'm also going to put some on the back. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll, I have one inch spacers on the back wheels here. I think they'll be way too much for the front wheels, but if they're not, then I'll switch those, put them here on the front wheels and see if that brings out the wheel enough to, um, I think it might be a little too much. I mean, this wheel's a little turned. It might be enough. I mean, bring about an inch here. It might be a nice snug fitment, but we'll have to wait and see. Because if that works, then all I have to do is get slightly wider spacers for the rear wheels. And that will give me a much wider stance, which is also what I want. Because if you look at the car from the front, you see that really gives some nice width to the car. And these fenders are a little bit more bulged than the factory ones. So I'll definitely get some nice width to kind of complement that really cool curve, that body line in these uh, SN bodies. So SN95 bodies, I should say. So in order to make these pieces uh, work, some things have to be cut. And uh, I got myself equipped with my PPE to get things cut. Um, so if you look over here, I need to make a cut here and basically follow the line as you can see in this mold here and just cut off that pointy tip piece. I don't need that. some sandpaper and we'll go check fitment. Things are a lot better, but I still have to take care of this piece here. This, what I think I will do is the beautiful thing of plastic, little heat and you can make it do things that it normally wouldn't do. So, see if I can get this kind of temporarily placed and then get my heat gun, see if we can bend that piece in, taper it in. All right, so I got the heat gun and I kind of just got this all taped together for now. It will be 
uh, glued together at some point, but what I need to do is hopefully this will do it without actually screwing this piece up, but I hope if I heat the back of this up or just heat this piece up, I'll be able to roll it with around this curve here. So this will create a, this will sit flush against the body instead of just kind of being an open gap. That is what I'm hoping happens. All right, I'm just gonna hold it there a second until it dry or uh, <laughs> cools down. Hopefully it'll hold its shape. All right, so there we go. Now we have a nice turn here around and it wraps around that piece. Looks like it was made that way. So go ahead and set that up against the car and see how it looks. All right, so that is a lot nicer. As you can see, it kind of just rolls underneath there and it doesn't look like it just stops. And it actually ties into this body line right along here. So I think that will work. At least as best as it can. Of course it needs some massaging, maybe a little bit trimming on this corner piece here. But uh, otherwise I think that's that will do. All right, so I have everything taped up again. And this is kind of gonna be the final mock-up here. I see how everything looks. And it's still a little rough around the edges. But I think once everything gets pieced together and I get it actually glued and placed with the proper adhesive and it where it's not where it's rigid and not all. Oh, flop it around and everything. I think it's gonna look really nice. It definitely doesn't look like any other Mustang I've seen, except the GT350, which is the whole point. So that is it for this video. I really wanted to show uh, this whole creation here and I'm gonna continue to update as I move forward in uh, this project. Um, I think it's really cool. I definitely would, you know, I definitely wanted to share this with everyone. Um, and once I get kind of to the next step, you know, I'll make another video. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty much done. All I need to do is kind of just get everything just kind of like buttoned up. All these little pieces, I might have to take this and bend it in um, with some heat as well. Just kind of make it look like it's, you know, it was supposed to be like that cohesive. Um, and try to get everything just right. And when I do that, uh, then the next step from that is to copy this to the other side and then get them actually fit it on there with some adhesive and then probably that just do the final touches, sanding or some slight tweaking to get them to fit right. And then we can move on to the next step. So thanks for watching the video. If you would please just share it with your friends and family, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content, do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.